Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Career Prep. Today we'll learn shortcut method to find square root of non-perfect squares. Practice this method with various other numbers till you are perfect with the method. In every competitive exam, there'll be at least one instance where you'll have to find the square root of a non-perfect square quickly. With the help of this shortcut method, you'll be able to find the square root quickly within seconds. Since time is crucial in competitive exams, be thorough with this topic. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Let's understand the difference between perfect square and a non-perfect square. A perfect square is a number whose square root is an integer. For example, square root of 9 is 3. So 9 is a perfect square because the square root of 9 is 3 which is an integer. A non-perfect square is a number whose square root is not an integer. For example, square root of 20 is approximately equal to 4 and a half. So 20 is a non-perfect square because the square root of 20 is, a, uh, no, uh, is not an integer. Similarly, square root of 77 is approximately equal to 8.77. So 77 is a non-perfect square because the square root of 77 is a decimal number and not an integer. Let's find the square root of a non-perfect square using a shortcut method. To find the square root of a non-perfect square, use the formula root of x plus or minus y is equal to square root of x plus or minus y divided by 2 root x, where x is a perfect square. Let's find the square root of, no, of a non-perfect square using the formula. Find the square root of 12. Now 12 is a non-perfect square. Use the formula square root of x plus or minus y is equal to square root of x plus or minus y divided by 2 root x. Now split 12 such that x is a perfect square close to 12. Now 9 is a perfect square close to, 10, uh, close to 12. Also 16 is also a perfect square close to 12. So you can either use 9 or 16 in place of x and find the square root of 12. First let's use 9 and find the square root of 12. So 9 is a perfect square close to 12. So 12 can be written as 9 plus 3. So square root of 12 can be written as square root of 9 plus 3. And according to the formula, square root of 9 plus 3 is equal to square root of 9 plus 3 divided by 2 root 9. Now square root of 9 is 3. So 2 root 9 is 2 multiplied by 3 which is 6. So now we have 3 plus 3 by 6. 3 by 6 is nothing but 1 by 2. So 3 plus 1 by 2 is 3 plus 0 0.5 which is 3.5. So the square root of 12 is approximately equal to 3.5. Now let's use 16 to find the square root of 12. 16 is also a perfect root close to 12. So 12 can be written as 16 minus 
4. So square root of 16 can be written as square root of uh, square root of uh, 12 can be written as square root of 16 minus 4. According to the formula, square root of 16 minus 4 is equal to square root of 16 minus 4 divided by 2 root 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So 2, uh, 2 root 16 is 2 multiplied by 4 which is 8. So now you have 4 minus 4 by 8. 4 by 8 is nothing but 1 by 2. So now you have 4 minus 1 by 2 which is 4 minus 0 0.5. 4 minus 0 0.5 is 3.5. So square root of 12 is approximately equal to 3.5. So whether you use 9 or 16, you will get the same answer as the square root. Find the square root of 23. Use the formula square root of x plus or minus y is equal to square root of x plus or minus y divided by 2 root x. Now split 23 such that x is a perfect square close to 23. 25 is a perfect square close to 23. So 23 can be written as 25 minus 2. So square root of 23 can be written as square root of 25 minus 2. According to the formula, square root of 25 minus 2 is equal to square root of 25 minus 2 divided by 2 root 25. Square root of 25 is 5. 2 root 25 is 2 multiplied by 5 which is 10. So now you have 5 minus 2 divided by 10. 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2. So you have 5 minus 0 0.2. 5 minus 0 0.2 is nothing but 4.8. So the square root of 23 is approximately equal to 4.8. Find the square root of 72. Now 64 is a perfect square close to 72. So square root of 72 can be written as square root of 64 plus 8 because 64 plus 8 is 72. Now square root of 64 is 8. Write this plus sign as it is here. Write this 8 as the numerator. In the denominator, you have to multiply 8 with 2 to get 16. So now you have 8 plus 8 by 16. 8 by 16 is nothing but 1 by 2. So 8 plus 1 by 2 is 8 plus 0 0.5. 8 plus 0 0.5 is 8.5. So the square root of 72 is approximately 8.5 Find the square root of 127 Now 121 is a perfect square close to 127 So square root of 127 can be written as square root of 121 plus 6 because 121 plus 6 is equal to 127 now square root of 121 is 11. There is a plus sign here so write plus here. Write this 6 in the numerator. In the denominator multiply 11 with 2 to get 22. So now you have 11 plus uh, 6 by 22. 6 by 22 is nothing but 3 by 11. So now you have 11 plus 3 by 11. 3 by 11 is equal to 0 0.27. So 11 plus 0 0.27 is 11.27. So the square root of 127 is approximately equal to 11.27.
find the square root of 265. 256 is a perfect square close to 265. So square root of 265 can be written as square root of 256 plus 9 because 256 plus 9 is 265. Now square root of 256 is 16. There's a plus sign here, so write plus here. Write this 9 in the numerator. For the denominator, multiply 16 by 2 to get 32. So now you have 16 plus 9 by 32. 9 by 32 is 0 0.28. So 16 plus 0 0.28 is 16.28. So the square root of 265 is approximately equal to 16.28. Find the square root of 764. 784 is a perfect square close to 764. So square root of 764 can be written as square root of 784 minus 20 because 784 minus 20 is 764. Now square root of 784 is 28. There is a minus sign here so write minus here. Write this 20 in the numerator and for the denominator multiply 28 with 2 to get 56. So now you have 28 minus 20 divided by 56. 20 divided by 56 is nothing but 5 divided by 14. So now you have 28 minus 5 by 14. 5 by 14 is 0 0.36. So 28 minus 0 0.36 is 27.64. So the square root of 764 is approximately 27.64. Viewers, Please go through this video till you are perfect with the method. Practice with more numbers to understand the method perfectly and also to increase your speed. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.